Hello collective and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody I am here doing a random reading. This reading is for the collective so it, it may or may not resonate with you. Okay just take what does resonate. Toss out the rest. Don't try to force any reading into your world. Right. And thank you so much everybody for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything. Um, all my subscribers. Um, all my newbies, right? My new moonies. Thank you so much, you guys. I love you. It's a great soul tribe to, to belong to, I'm telling you. <laughs> anyway, um, all right. So what I'm seeing is people are mad. I mean, this they're really, really angry right now. So we're going to dig into why are they mad, okay? Because honestly, I feel like this is your energy collective. Just kind of keep into yourself. Um, you may be listening to some really good music. You've got a nice vibe going on. I feel like you are, um, you're keeping all of your moves hidden. You're, you're keeping everything in your private world private, I feel. Yeah, and you're just, you know, you're, you've got your headset on. It's like if somebody is trying to get a hold of you or reach you, you're not listening, okay? I feel like you're tuning people out. That's what I'm tuning people and situations out that really no longer serve you and then protecting yourself from them. Uh, and people are getting angry about this. They're getting really mad, but... Um, I feel like you see this ball of light here. I'm kind of seeing as the divine. The divine is protecting you. They've got your back. They're on your shoulder. You can feel it. You know, you, you're you using your intuition here with all of the purple in the background. That's all into intuition. And you've got a lot of spiritual guides back in you too. I mean, you know, and people are angry but you know you're keeping everything to yourself and i feel like they're fishing fishing looking through their phone trying to find out anything about you if you have um like um a, a podium okay uh somewhere where you're a speaker this is what they're doing right they're they're watching you like a hawk under under telescopic glasses okay and fishing for information hold on somebody just walked through my door chloe yeah. okay um so anyway yeah there someone out there could be overindulging what i'm feeling is both masculine and feminine energy watching you like a hawk somebody's trying to look for info on you i feel like this karmic individual i feel like this is a karmic um, who could be overindulging a lot. Maybe they're, um, they could be possibly comparing themselves to you somehow because this masculine doesn't stop watching you, okay? And I feel like there's something about their looks or body or something or the way that they eat. They could even be like becoming bulimic or anorexic for some of for some of them I feel like um, they're hating on the way that you look okay and at the same time the stress is like it's like binging and purging I feel binging purging binging purging like they eat to satisfy something here but then they purge it out again because they're very insecure about how they look that's the feeling that I'm getting here Someone who may have an eating disorder or just be watching you and doing a lot of eating, a lot of eating, right? They could be like eating a lot of sweets right now. There's, this is chocolate. Um, but this masculine energy and possibly this feminine energy both are fishing for info on you because they can't find anything. You're not saying anything. You're, you're a closed book for these people now. Closed book, right? That's the feeling that I'm getting here. So, Divine, why are people hating here? Why are they mad? Why are these people mad? This is clear anger. Justice, they're getting their karmic justice. And you're having your scales balanced as well. Justice is coming in this situation. Um... Yeah, there's a masculine energy here. I feel like it's this person here that wants to step forward, reach out, and apologize. 
You could be dealing with a Libra or a Pisces. Injustice here. I feel like um, I feel like there's a masculine that can't seem to let go of your energy, and it's really affecting the mental state of this karmic individual. And also, I feel like um, they could be having money issues as well. Feeling like a fool. The fool card was at the bottom of the deck. Somebody really wants a new beginning with you. They want to come in and apologize. Yeah, you've blocked this out, I feel. I feel like you're protecting your abundance here. You're protecting all the progress that you've made. You're protecting your stability. You're, you're living a pri very private life, okay? And um, you're not telling anybody about your, your plans. You're not telling anybody about anything that's going on in your life, okay? Um, because you're you're protecting it all. You know what you're worth, and you've got the Ten of Pentacles here. Um, I feel like you've built something very strong here. Some of you could even um, uh, be in a commitment already. Okay, building it to something that's going to be long lasting, right? If any of you do find somebody else, you're certainly not going to share any of that news with anyone because of the sabotage that you know is looming in the background. Okay, that's what this is. This is deception, lies, coming in to maybe get information and leaving to go give it to somebody else. You could even be dealing with a younger person, a page of wands, that's literally doing this. In and out energy here, in and out energy here. And this person is taking information or things that you say and possibly taking them to somebody else. Taking that information and, and, and telling somebody else about it. And you're like, I've had enough of the sabotage. When I get this Ten of Pentacles, or maybe you already do, you're protecting it with everything that you've got. You're protecting it. Nobody gets in. Right? That's kind of the feeling that I've got here, especially since you're very closed off to people right now and tuning them out and, le and being led by your intuition. Okay? And protected. This is, this is kind of like your protection here. Um, if we're talking about a specific individual, this say that's this masculine that wants to come back in, right? And apologize. I feel like you've already you've already blocked this out. You've already made a decision. No, because what you really want and what you know is coming here is the Ten of Pentacles. You know, knowing that it's coming, you're using your intuition, you're blindfolded here, and you still know that you're worthy of this Ten of Pentacles, and you're, you're going to get it. And, you know, so I feel like you're still making up your mind here. Like, this is being firm on a decision. Once again, protecting yourself. Look at your, the position of the arms in both pictures, covering that heart. I feel like you're protecting anything that means something to you right now because you know people just want to come in and sabotage it. You know there could be someone around you, possibly younger, a page, okay, that uh, comes in and out, maybe is playful, uh, but I, I feel like um, they take information that you may say or something and t carry it to somebody else. That's why this masculine here is fishing. That's how they're fishing. Or it could be one way. I feel like they're watching you. Um, whatever it is that you're putting out on social media, they're seeing it. Um, and, uh, and you could also be dealing with somebody else around you that's feeding them information about you. Um, yeah. Because somebody, it's like they want to approach, but hold on just one moment. I, I need to make sure my kids aren't are closing that door. Hold on. Sorry about that, everyone. I had to check on my daughter. Anyway, um, yeah, where were we? This person, I feel like they're hanging on to your energy. They know they're getting karma. Look, at this person's getting their butt kicked. They're getting their butt kicked. That's one of the reasons why they're angry. They're also angry because they're being forced, I feel, by, 
by spirit to come in and make things right. The things that they did wrong, they need to make right. You know, and this and they're they're kind of being stubborn here. They don't really want to turn around and face all of this. They don't. Um, but uh yeah, I feel like like I said, they're being pushed to do it. I feel like this is a big old apology here. That's what I'm feeling like. This is a Knight of Cups coming in to make a love offer, but I really feel like that's a that's also an apology and the divine is is kind of pressing this person to do it they're saying come on stick your toe in go in there we're trying to mix up this soulmate connection right they're sending this person in but they're angry um because they don't want to face up for to all of this they don't really want to take responsibility for the things that they've done in the past they know that you've blocked them out at least energetically um but yeah i feel like the angels are trying to lead this person to do the right thing okay now you are going to have a choice i feel like you will have a choice here whether or not you want to take this person back but i do see them being led to come forward even though they don't want to confront all that they've done okay they're being led to do it so just use your discernment, you know, you get to meet, you get to decide however you want, right? All right, what else can you show me? Why is, why are they mad? Stuck and trapped in their mind. Somebody's stuck and trapped in their mind about this. I don't feel like this is your energy, I have to say. I feel like this is your energy blocking this stuff out so this could very well be the karmic because like I said they know that your person wants to come forward clarify this eight of swords for me please clarify the eight of swords for me please Why is the Eight of Swords here? Yeah, because the situation, once it is this karmic, um, trapped and stuck in their mind here because they know that this masculine is being spiritually led to come forward towards you, uh, make a decent apology, right? And an offer of love. And that is going to bring down their karmic relationship. I feel like that's a foundation that was not built to last, okay, and it needs to come down. It needs to come down. And I feel like this this karmic is like stuck, overeating, in, overindulging in something, um, and just waiting for this to happen. They're just waiting for they're just waiting for it to crumble. That's that's what this karmic is doing. That's why they're mad, okay? That's why they're mad. Yeah. I feel like, um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. This, this situation is coming to an end for the karmic in your person, and this person is being led to come in, give you a whopping huge apology, okay? Um, do it right, you know? And the karmic can see this this relationship crumbling they're stressed out they're completely stressed out maybe that's why their eating habits are weird here they're either overindulging or they're binging and purging um, they're starting to get um, it's affecting their self-esteem okay yeah but this I feel like this person is this masculine is being made to boss up basically utilizing every tool at their disposal to change things around they're manifesting you in right now too they're manifesting this and the the temperance angel is is leading them guiding them in your direction okay yeah that's really what i'm getting here and this karmic knows it that's why they're hating 
could be dealing with, um, let's see, I've got Sagittarius out here, Libra, Pisces, um, really any fire sign. I've got water signs, Taurus, Aries, Virgo, Scorpio. Yeah, in and out energy though. In and out energy with the high priestess. Yeah, this person's going to have to do like... They know, the emperor knows that um, they're going to have to do a lot to change this around. I feel like this person played a high priestess energy. Yeah. Either that, yeah, look. Oh, they played a high priestess. Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, and they are super scared about coming forward. They're very scared about coming forward. Because huh. they played you. And you're very intuitive, yeah. And I feel like they invested in something else that, you know, went wrong. Now they have to have a new beginning somewhere else. That's this karmic situation here as they sit here and eat their chocolate, right? Um, yeah, a third party situation, heartache and betrayal. And now they want to take that one pentacle and bring it to you. Yep, it's the end of a cycle here. I'm telling you, they want you. They want a new beginning with you. That's it. They're going to take action. They want this new beginning. I feel like, too, they can, they've been watching your abundance as well. They see that you're um, the Queen of Pentacles, right? Sitting on this throne, very, very abundant, very, very financially stable, um, having this new beginning. You could be getting like a lump sum of money or something like that, um, or maybe a new job or a job promotion, or just you're entering into a whole new way of life, right? The thing with the Queen of Pentacles is you have all the qualities that this person really wants. I'm seeing... I'm seeing a karmic individual that is not confident, that has self-esteem issues, maybe body Im image issues. They may be binging, purging, or just overindulging and just watching you, okay? Um, very insecure individual here could be codependent as well. And I'm seeing your energy, okay? Now, in this energy... You're very responsible, dedicated, um, committed to whatever it is that you're doing and growing here, okay? Um, you're creative. You can handle pretty much everything on your own. You're independent. Um, you're self-reliant, okay? And you nurture things. You're a really good mom, you know? You nurture your home, your family, right and those are the qualities that this person truly wants they invested into something that didn't work out because the person that they were with didn't have those kind of strengths but you do and so this person i feel like they've always they've always wanted to be with you but they really did play you they really did play you since they met you though they see you from a, in a whole new light they are seeing your qualities, the, the real deep-seated qualities about you, you know. Um, and I feel like you're the one that they want to commit to now. Okay, and this, this Wheel of Fortune too, it could be a fortune that you've gotten. It could. It could be a small fortune, making your person even... Shoot! Sorry, my phone. Um, making this person super stressed out, right? And heartbroken, because look at what they lost. Look at all this person lost when they screwed over a high priestess. Now that they're, they're like wanting to do something about it, I feel. They're wanting to do something about it. This could be manipulation as well, but with a temperance angel out here, um, I, I kind of get the feeling that, um, I get the feeling that they, they want, they just want to restart with you. Okay. They do. And they're being led in your direction. 
they're being led to make this right. It's the end of a cycle. This person's got to close it out properly. Whether you t accept this person back or not, I do see them, though, keep in mind, they're seeing you being abundant. You could be a business owner here, a boss. They're seeing your success. So for some of you, you know, that's one of the reasons why this person is crying. They're crying here. They're sitting up in bed at night crying like a baby because of what they lost, okay? Yeah, and they, they're nonstop watching you. Now, this karmic individual, though, um, they may need some help with something here. You know what I mean? Honestly, there's something about the eating thing. It's either a disorder, like it feels like an eating disorder because of the stress, maybe. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, I feel like playing games really cost this person a lot. Playing games and juggling you, not knowing if they should make something right or not, I, this is what costs them. This is what they're crying about. Um, they betrayed themselves when they betrayed you. I, I feel like... Um, this person hid how they really felt. I feel like a, a lot for a lot of you, this person played a smug little game that fed their ego, you know? Either way, they ended up in this position, man down, because of juggling. Juggling somebody who's this abundant, right? This stable, this grounded, um, getting a new beginning, a high priestess, who really did nothing but love this person. Gave them nothing but love when they had you, right? Yeah, then they played a smug little game and backstabbed themselves. They really brought themselves down here. Yeah, they're crying person watching, just so you know. I feel like a masculine energy is upset, frustrated, but this karmic is angry because they're they're losing this masculine they they really want to be with you now i don't know what else to say there so use your discernment i feel like this person is coming forward slowly slowly coming forward okay um and yeah just use your discernment use your intuition right the choice is going to be yours okay Anyway, uh, that's what I've got for this reading. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. If you guys like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow, right? Yes. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.